So every company needs to build software. Because that is software that you deliver to your customers is what defines what the experience you give to your customers. So building software basically means you have a bunch of people who write code, right? And they write the code and they put it into some kind of code repository. And then, so you have you know teams of people typically, and that code then goes through some process and eventually becomes some kind of a mobile app or some web app type thing. And there's another person who is a consumer who's using these things, right? So the problem that every business tries to solve in terms of software development and delivery is how do you get the code from this guy's fingertips to that guy's fingertips? Right. And the, this process in many places is uh, slow and expensive and complicated. So what? why is it slow and expensive and complicated? Well, so typically when this is running, if it's a mobile app, you need authentication, you need scalability, you need cloud infrastructure, you need all kinds of stuff to make it work. So there's a whole bunch of server infrastructure that you need to have to make that work. But you don't, you never go from the code the developer wrote all the way into the code that this guy is using. There's always multiple of these things. These typically are called environments, right? Because that's how you develop software. You first write the code, you put it somewhere, you test it with the other parts of the code, other systems that exist, make sure that's working, then you put it into another level of testing, maybe load testing, maybe security testing, and so on. Eventually it goes into production. This, so this is called the production environment. Once it goes into the production environment is when these people can use the software, right? So this process to go from here to here involves lots of buzzwords today. So it would involve GitOps, it would involve DevOps, it would involve CI, CD, could involve SecOps. Uh, if you're doing any modern architecture, it'll involve Kubernetes, right? Might involve microservices architecture and so on. There's a lot more, right? Of all the things that you need to get right in order to have the ability to be agile and quick and lightweight and efficient and reliable and so on about the ability to take the code that this person writes and get it in front of the user as fast as possible, at the least cost possible and in the safest way possible. And we know how to do this now. This is not a hard problem. We've been working on this process of developing software. Let's call it the software manufacturing process for good 30, 40 years. And so all the tools for how to do this properly are available. But to set up that process to run it and then to keep that process up and running is a quite an expensive process because you need to understand a whole bunch of acronyms, technologies, and now we didn't get into the specific cloud infrastructures. If you're on Microsoft Azure, if you're on AWS, if you're on GCP, if you're on some other cloud, they have their own tweaks and all, own variations of all of these things. So you need to find the right combinations of things, put it all together, and then you can unleash your developers and say, okay, now you can go and run this thing, right? Then you need to keep that team running, and that team is typically called the platform engineering team, right? So, so first of all, you need to set, get the platform engineering team set up. They need to set up this platform, they need to engineer the platform, and then your developers can start being productive, and they need to keep this platform engineered, this engineered platform up and running and available right throughout. So that, that's what you need to do. Or you have a simple choice. Or you can say, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore because I'm a manufacturing company, I'm an insurance company, I'm a healthcare provider, I'm a retail company. I just want somebody else to do it for me. That's what Corio is. If you just want somebody else to do it for you, sign up to Corio, just add developers and outcomes results.